let us start with a new chapter that is the carboxylic acid and carbonyls in ketones and let us start with carboxylic acid so first of all we will see the reactivity order of some carboxylic acid derivatives and carboxylic acid so first one is an amide group uh, the more reactive form is an ester then we get the carboxylic themselves then comes the anhydride and finally we have acid halides this is the order of reactivity means if any reaction is to happen with all these compounds or we have to compare the rate this compound will react the fastest then let us summarize the whole a lot many of reactions are there in the whole organic containing uh, oxygen containing compounds in the whole organic chemistry so let us summarize them in a single table so that it uh, be easy to remember so let us proceed let me keep ester in center and then let me add an alcohol to it here i have kept the carboxylic and uh, i have added alcohol i will get an ester this is what is a basic esterification reaction is we also know that if we add pcl5 or socl2 or pcl3 to a carboxylic acid we will get acid halide and if we add to acid halide rco na plus we get an anhydride this is r dash and if we add an alcohol r dash o s to it we get back the ester then let me put an amide over here and if we add nh3 to this we get this amide over here uh, even if we get nh3 to rcocl we will also get amide or just by heating the carboxylic acid will get amide or just by adding an ester to anhydride we will get the amide back and we can also proceed that from rcoos to anhydride if we want to go the process is either use p2o5 with a heat or concentrated h2so4 uh now we will see some other reactions of alcohol if an alcohol is added in with lithium lithium aluminum hydride in ether or b2s6 and second is the hydrolysis it's get reduces into an alcohol then we know that b2s6 is used as it doesn't easily reduce esters and nitro compounds so whenever uh, there is a ester and a nitro compound and we don't want to reduce them then we use b2s6 if we only want to reduce a uh, carboxylic acid then we also have a cold base electrolysis in which if we have to carboxylic acids like this and if we provide electricity get denoted by plus minus we will get an alkene plus co2 which will be at anode and hydrogen gas at cathode uh one more reaction is like that if we just add r c o o n a and provide electricity it will be forming r r that is r2 plus co2 again at anode and h2 gas again at cathode now a similar uh, reaction like friedel craft reaction we are going to do 
it's we are going to add FPBR3 to benzoic acid with Br2 and we will get Br at meta position as we know that COH is a deactivating and meta directing group therefore we will get Br at meta position and this benzoic acid it doesn't go, go undergo friedel craft reaction because AlCl3 it reacts with uh, benzoic acid and get attached to COOH and hence the reaction cannot be proceeded the next is when an R we are having a carboxylic acid and if we add Cl2 or Br2 with red phosphorus we get an alpha halogen attached a halogen attached to the alpha position of the carboxylic acid Now finally, the last reaction, if uh, it's like R, C, C double bond O, NH2, and it's a amide group, and we know that this carbon is a chiral carbon, or just mark it as a carbon 14. We have done some iso, we have added the isotope. And we want to see what reaction it does with Br to KOH. Then it will form RC NH2. There is elimination of CO from the compound, and the stereochemistry of C doesn't change. This is basically a reaction which will come in amide, but this will be used in problems. That's why I'm just putting it over here. Let us start with carbonyl compounds. First reaction which we will see is how calcium salts of carboxylic acids reacts to form an aldehyde. This is like this. Calcium salts of carboxylic acids. They react with each other to uh, at giving uh, by giving some temperature or heat or some energy uh, they form corresponding aldehydes plus calcium carbon the second reaction they can even form ketones if in place of CH3 we have R group which is bigger than CS3 it may be ethyl propyl hexane whatever and if we use some R dash with it then it will form 2 R CO R dash plus 2 times calcium carbonate apart from that it will also form mixtures of R C O R and R dash C O R dash. So let's proceed to the next reaction. The next one is a Rosenmund reduction reaction in which an acid halide is reacted with H2 uh, in presence of palladium. Uh, and xylene and barium sulfate uh, with sulfur with quinoline and this acts as a poison to catalyst which means that after proceeding to one step that is 
as soon as H2 with palladium reduces is to RC double bond OH that is aldehyde plus HX, it stops the reaction over there. So that's what the poison to catalyst means, and it lets the reaction to proceed only one step. And this is Rosenmund reaction. Now let's move further. If in place of H2 palladium, we can also use LBAH or we can also use N butyl tenhydride. Let's see the next reaction which we call as Stephens method in which we have taken a cyanide and we are reducing it with tin chloride in HCl and it gives me RCH NH HCl which on hydrolysis gives me aldehyde plus NH4Cl and the bo uh, one more important point is that we can't react hydrogen cyanide with RMGX because if we do that then uh, it's an acid and it's a very strong base that is R minus so it will follow a simple mechanism of acid base reaction and alkene plus MGX cyanide will be formed. Well as when we add to an alkyl cyanide RMGX it is R C R double bond N MGX which one hydrolysis give me a keto and NS3 and HO MG X in the next reaction uh, the PS CS3 where we add CRO3 with an acid anhydride in this case acetic anhydride it forms a compound like this C O C O Easter and again uh, Easter over here which on hydrolysis gives me pencil behind plus two modes of acetic acid and the purpose of using acetic anhydride is that it protects pencil dehyde from further oxidation to benzoic acid as CRO3 will be there in medium that's why we use acetic anhydride one more important reaction is whenever we get an analkyl benzene and if we use CRO2Cl2 where then followed by hydrolysis we will get an aldehyde and this reaction is known as Hittard reaction and an important point to note is that aldehyde and ketones have low melting and boiling point than alcohols 
because they don't have hydrogen bonding the next point is very important its order of reactivity for nucleophilic addition so formaldehyde will react the fastest then an aldehyde followed by benzaldehyde then a keto will come then nine alkali keto and four five phenyl finally one more important reaction which is basic addition of nacl3 in this uh, to aldehyde when we add nhso3 it yields uh c o h h so3 na where this is a white crystal and when we react it with the keto it forms a uh, c o h h so3 na it forms this product only when r one of the r if this is an r dash one of the r or r dash is ch3 because compounds having ch3 co group only will undergo this reaction if it's not the case then uh, if it is a case like this it will not react and no white crystals will be formed now the next reaction is a very important reaction in which uh, we will be studying the concepts of acetal and hemiacetal and what's the purpose of using them if we add an alcohol to an aldehyde group in dry acl we will get a compound like this this compound is hemi acetal and again on addition of ch3oh or alcohol again we get an acetal and when we add dilute hcl to an acetal it get a gain it forms back our aldehyde so acetals are basically used to protect the aldehyde group so that they do, don't undergo any reaction you can see aldehydes or ketones in general carbonyls 